Did you ever wonder how the amazing features of Kairos could help you with your productions? Today, we have some special guests joining us in the studio to talk about their experience with Kairos. Their testimonials will hopefully inspire you to try out Kairos for yourself. And maybe you will be our guest next time. Who knows? Hello, everyone. Welcome to the first Panasonic Kairos Infinity event. Inspired by Kairos experience, today we bring together leading broadcasters and event producers to share the experience of using Kairos in an array of applications. We will also discuss industry trends and challenges and Kairos's latest developments. Here is a snapshot of the agenda for you. Before we begin, let's mention that we are here today in Paris at Videlio's virtual studio. Videlio is a long-time Panasonic customer and has just built a brand new IP-based control room using Kairos. So today, Kairos is at the heart of the production process, while our leading PTZ cameras and robotic systems are capturing the action. On stage with me now is André Meterian, Director of Panasonic Broadcast and ProAV EMEA. As we will discover during this program, Kairos is a state-of-the-art IP, IT video processing platform. So before talking more in depth about Kairos, let's go back to the background of its development. Andre, is it safe to say that only IP technologies can bring what's needed to satisfy current trends and to help organizations to adapt to a rapidly growing market? Thank you, Guilhem. Major technology innovations in the broadcast and AV market are allowing us to improve the experience our customers deliver to audiences and to transform the operations and economics of the industry. Also, our goal at Panasonic is to go beyond the development of simply making great products. Our mission is to create more value for our customers and to support their daily operation by delivering best-in-class solutions for studio environment, sports production, rental and staging, and corporate markets. Coming back to your question, the transition to IP has been steadily growing in our industry over the past few years. The pandemic only accelerated this trend with the need to capture and produce content remotely. Deploying IP technology is becoming essential to keep pace with the insatiable request for content on demand, and this is why our engineers have worked so hard to develop our IP solutions from Kairos to our camera to better support our customers. We are excited about this new IP world and the opportunities it brings as it's key to addressing many of the industry's current challenges. For example, migrating to cloud operations, increasing content creation, the need for highly optimized workflows, lowering environmental impact and making cost savings, increasing the quality of content. And overall, enabling virtualization as IP products offer a wide range of technologies to allocate resources much more efficiently and meet any type of requirement from high quality streaming to low latency, uncompressed video feeds. Thanks for this overview, Andre. You seem very excited by this worldwide IP adoption. Can you tell us a bit more about it? Also, we are talking a lot about glass-to-glass -glass solutions, which means the content production process from lens capture throughout to its ultimate display. How does this connect to IP and to Kairos? The support of IP leading standards, such as H.264, NDI, and SRT is already an integral part of our PTZ range and support for the ST2110 standard is included in our live camera systems. With all customers in mind, we have then developed a groundbreaking IT IP processing platform, Kairos, set to be the perfect tool for them to adopt IP by bridging IP to the traditional SDI world while offering unprecedented flexibility and performance. Kairos, plays an integral part in our product portfolio as the backbone of our glass-to-glass -glass solution, connecting, for example, our cameras to our projectors. 
Thanks, Andre. So long story short, Kairos is a modular and open architecture platform, which is a game changer for many customers involved in high quality video production and delivery, either live or in the studio. So I'm now here with Christophe to show you what stands behind the Kairos concept and what it offers. Kairos basically sets a new standard of usability. It is based on the latest software technology and CPU GPU processing and as such is not limited by the hardware. It allows customers to optimize and future-proof their investment while maintaining the ultimate inflexibility. One of Kairos's strongest features is its full independence from resolution and format, including, for example, non-traditional ratios such as 32 by 9 for an LED backdrop display. With Kairos, scenes replace the traditional concept of mix effect, and layers replace the traditional concept of key. It is kind of a Photoshop-style live compositing tool and offers an unlimited number of video layers. Yes, Guillaume. Let me describe Kairos in a nutshell. It is based on a unique groundbreaking software development and relies on GPU and CPU in terms of processing power. To be a bit more specific, Kairos offer true uncompressed video processing with HD and 4K in and out. It uses PTP, Precision Time Protocol. It gives full support base of baseband in SDI and IP signals all at the same time. It is controlled by a very user-friendly interface. And last but not least, Kairos offers a super low latency processing, a first on the market, making it an extremely powerful tool in all contexts and applications especially for live events. A typical Kairos system consists of the server, Kairos core, the GUI, Kairos creator, and if needed, a control panel called Kairos control. At the heart of the system is the core, the processing unit. There are two versions available today, KC100, a single rack unit, and KC1000, a two rack unit. The choice depends on the production requirements. Kairos Core 1000 steps up the processing performance of the Kairos system, effectively doubling the number of layers that can be achieved. KC1000 is ideal for advanced scoreboard shows or multiple 4K screen management for large entertainment events. Kairos Control is software customizable. The operators can create their own workspace and it provides full control of unlimited scenes and layers. Additional panels, including from third-party manufacturers, will soon be available, so stay tuned. Now, let's start with the main part of our event, the most eagerly awaited part. Today, we are joined by Mediaset, Creative Technology, and Lang Age to talk about their experience with Kairos. Let's start with our guests from Mediaset. <laughs> Joining us now, Mauro and Marco from Mediaset Italy, one of Europe's largest broadcasters. Could you please explain a little bit about yourselves and the company? Okay, I'm responsible for uh, TV production systems design. Uh, I'm part of a large department, a technology department, that in Mediaset designs every production facility and operates it uh, technically. Mm -hmm. Mediaset, you know, is, uh, as you mentioned, the, the largest uh, publisher, uh, pri private publisher in, uh, in Italy, mm -hmm. producing both uh, radio and television, of course, uh, programs and uh, channels. And so we are here to talk about our digital transformation, which is a full migration of, of our production, control room, and studio facilities mm -hmm. to IP. I am Mauro Castamagnago. I am the broadcast uh, technical manager for several years in Mediaset, mm -hmm. and working with Marco for many, many years also. Uh, too long to mention. Yeah, <laughs> <But> me too. <laughs> and we have drive uh, the last uh, project in this uh, two years during, unfortunately, the pandemic uh, period, uh, moving Mediaset from a traditional uh, environment to an IP environment. This was, a big, I think, a big change that we made to move all the facilities to IP base uh, 2110 and NDI also. 
So as you initiated this topic, can you elaborate a bit more about these new installations? So now you've installed Kairos, you've installed some robotics uh, systems from, from Panasonic, of course, some PTZ camera systems. Uh, at the last NAB, before the pandemic stuff, yeah. I was very surprised about uh, the type of product that Panasonic have presented mm. in this event, because it was yeah. very, you know, software-based yes. uh, mixers. So we've obviously an, a very nice idea behind that, mm. that could give us some possibility for the future. That was the starting story of, of the mixer of the Kairos. It, it was completely a big step. And for us, it was, I, I think, Christophe, the entry point to going into this IP direction, 2110 and so on, right? You know, we promote Kairos as a transition tool to 2110 and even to IP in, in general. So can you share a bit with us and with our listener what was your experience into this transition period? How can Kairos help you for the transition? Okay, uh, yes, frankly speaking, we started our adventure uh, with the video over IP because first we had audio over IP with Dante, uh, installations of Dante in uh, any kind of uh, uh, audio mixer, intercom and so on. Then for video, we started moving uh, to NDI uh, in a smaller installation at our radio TV studio. So with a limited number of cameras. Uh, we found uh, this, uh, uh, this experience very, very interesting, but uh, we pretended to enhance the quality and uh, transition to, to a full and a standard 2110 environment. So in the meantime, we built a core IP infrastructure based upon uh, 2110, which connects uh, both uh, the different uh, studios and control rooms inside each production center, and the uh, inter-campus. We have several campus in uh, Milan and in, in Rome. And so Kairos was uh, the, a good opportunity yeah. to start uh, moving to a full 2110 IP control room and studio. Okay. I guess you still have some SDI or maybe many SDI. Would you have a number? How many IP, native IP, how many SDI? Uh, we have... Uh, 10 studios in Milan, another eight studios in one of the production centers in Rome and two in the other production centers. Yeah. Uh, we have moved four of them overall to, to IP. Uh, so we have a big transition still to come. Do you have an idea when you would be 100% if it happens? I want to mention one stuff first. Uh, you know, we talk about 2110 intracampus with multiple studios, with multiple signal. Imagine that currently we are connected all the campus through fiber and we are not using compression. Mm. So basically we are working, all that the system is designed to arrive to 4K basically, mm. and to move 4K full bandwidth through the campus with all the signal from the studios. <clears throat> this is the design. It's not IP just uh, for fashion. Mm -hmm. I mean, IP is, IP is a fashion. There's a good sure. reason behind. But uh, for us, means the possibility to interchange easily control rooms with different studios. So mm -hmm. we, of course, have the, 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 the expectation that at, at the end there will be less control rooms and more studios to operate because typically they are not operating simultaneously. For large operations, it make, makes complete yeah. sense. So course. to reconfigure uh, a control room for a studio and the different devices of a studio, it's very important to have a, a very, very flexible uh, uh, set of equipment. The, the, the Kairos and, and the Vision Mixer being one of the core equipment uh, in, the, in the studio, of course, yeah. uh, needs to be so. Yeah. In, in a way, you use a flexible tool into a very flexible environment, global environment, mm. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting. All the, our environment is based on 2110, but mm. we would like also to find in the market equipment like cameras, uh, robotic cameras and etc. Mm. that can use that technology. The beauty of the Kairos as a solution, because before to arrive to the current studio with uh, Panasonic camera, pan and tilt, with uh, 
uh, the movement mm -hmm. from the techno, techno point, point right? techno point. Mm -hmm. Yes, we would like to realize something very easy to use that you can power on and you are sure to go on air. So basically, when we found that Kairos was ready, mm -hmm. obviously it was the right solution because we can talk with mm -hmm. Kairos in NDI in 2110, give me the output in NDI or 2110, and my full solution is working all yeah. together in one shot. Buying a switcher is a long-term investment, of course. It's mm -hmm. not something you buy just for one year or two. And how do you see, so Kairos, maybe in some years, uh, what do you expect from us, maybe? You know, it's a, on my view, uh, I think we can use Kairos in many applications currently today that uh, uh, are based on news. I talk about news because in an environment where we can for sure introduce in every studio of news, also RAS studio, we, we consider that Channel 5, uh, the, the news of Channel 5 are equivalent to TF1 news bulletin, mm -hmm. you know, in the evening and etc. So uh, very important program for news for us. On that kind of environment, I think that after this test, we can consider to move out of the traditionally vision mixer with banks, effect, and etc. Yeah. to Cairo solution. One limitation in the past was the number of the input, for example. Mm -hmm. Now you have increased because obviously, as much you, you change processor and the capacity of processing, yeah. you can add mm -hmm. features to the, to the system. I think mm -hmm. this is the beauty uh, of, of, of the yeah, of the, software the solution, IP of the software the solution. So I think uh, you can do it more than currently we can do. And yeah. but obviously, for us as a broadcaster, we need to test and to be sure. One uh, interesting things that I found is, you know, when you in try to to uh, introduce something new, also the engineer are a little bit, you know. Uh, sometimes, you know, yeah. you, you don't have all the people that, you know, yeah. approach the same stuff at the same, mm. in the same way. With Kairos was strange because yeah. uh, the report that we receive immediately from the user standard point and the technology standard point was, oh, Jesus, mm. it's nice, it's beautiful, it's yeah. do more than what I think. Yeah. Easy to use as well. It's easy yeah. to use as, yeah. as well, yeah. very easy to use. And this was the reaction from the operational point of view and also yeah. the installation point of view. So globally, I think we can say that the installation mm. uh, was a, a good experience for, for you and all your teams. Of course, uh, we chose Pyro, uh, Panasonic Kairos, also considering that uh, Panasonic already built uh, a, an ecosystem with the Technopoint, mm. uh, uh, even with the Classics uh, solution, which is the solution we are using for the VR set, the 2D and 3D graphics. So you, you explained that you have a lot of integration mm. uh, in, in Mediaset, and that's, I think, something very important in 2110, yeah. being able to integrate with third-party products. Absolutely. Yes, uh, the, the, the full ecosystem uh, of our IP-based installations, uh, based upon uh, 2110, includes uh, Panasonic sets of uh, uh, vision mixer and PTZ cameras, of course, uh, it integrates with the core IP from, from Everts yeah. uh, and, uh, and of course also the, the DALE solution that we are using for as contribution system, especially for news, prog news and soft news programs. That's great to hear. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That was Thank great. You very much. Speaking about remote production in sports, last year Kairos was used for the Olympic Games. I believe we now have some footage to show you. Exciting to see Kairos at such a major sports event. We are joined today by Sid and Sam from Creative Technology. Hi Sid. 
Hi, Sam. Thanks for yeah. joining today. So as we've heard from Mediaset, Kairos is ki kind of an ideal solution for broadcast used in TV stations, for example. Now, uh, for live event experts like you guys, how does Kairos help in making your life easier, solving daily problems in your operations? Um, one, of the, one of the big things about um, Kairos for us is its flexibility. So with, with live events, it's not the same configuration of equipment from event to event. So the ability to quickly reconfigure things, to quickly reprogram things, um, is actually absolutely key in our, in our industry. Great. So um, yeah, I, th I think um, uh, it's the flexibility of Kairos. It's the ability to um, uh, amalgamate lots of different formats of signals, for example. It's the ability to, um, uh, to feed lots of different aspect ratios of LED screens all off the same switcher. These are things that are not possible to do with traditional broadcast vision switches. So from the live events point of view, it's, it's that mixture of uh, vision switcher and screen switcher that's absolutely key to us. Um, and it, it, it enables us to simplify uh, delivery on site. It simplifies training for us because you can have operators that just have to learn one particular platform. Um, and it's, it's redeployable across you know, lots and lots of our different events. At Tokyo 2020, the, one of the big challenges for you was to deal with many different screen formats. And can you, can, you be, uh, uh, can you explain us a bit about uh, this and how do you deal with all of those different formats? Yeah, ab absolutely. So one of the, um, when, when we decided that Kairos was going to be an ideal platform for us to, um, to use on the Olympics, um, we, were, we were looking for um, two venues where it really made sense. Uh, and one of those was the, um, the Sea Forest Rowing, uh, where we had lots of different uh, LED screens with different aspect ratios. Uh, and that would traditionally be something quite hard to deliver from a, a, a normal vision yeah. mixer. So um, Kairos there with the ability to feed lots of different aspect ratios of LED screens, but ostensibly with the same content, but with resizing, et cetera, um, actually really helped us to, to deliver something that would have been quite difficult to do with a more traditional vision switcher. Um, and, and, and going forward with the Olympics, um, it, it enabled us also to have a, a much larger mixer with a with the 3G workflow um, from, from the Panasonic range. Um, mm. And going forward, I think that's probably something that will you know, increase for, for venue AV tech, which in these large multi-sport events like the Olympics, is, 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 uh, it's quite difficult to deliver in a flexible way. Yeah, Sam, you have been one of the first operator trained on, on Kairos. And I think you are now uh, a Kairos trainer yourself. Can you, can you explain us a bit what you may like in, in this platform and what other functionality you prefer? Absolutely. So I think one of the best things about the Kairos, just from the sort of get-go, is how user-friendly it is for people just to sit down in front of it and get going. You know, lots of uh, vision mixes are very complicated to use and require you to dig through menus and menus and menus. Um, the whole sort of Kairos ecosystem, the way it works with the sort of Kairos core and the Kairos creator and the Kairos panel, digging straight into Kairos Core, which can control all of the aspects of the switcher right from a GUI on your computer, um, actually makes it a lot more accessible for people just to get dug in and to be able to you know, manipulate these new uh, ways of working with Kairos with scenes and layers rather than with Emmys and Kias. And uh, actually even dealing with people who've got some experience in vision mixing, it's quite easy for them to get the, wrap their head around it. And even for people who've not ever done any sort of vision mixing or live switching before, um, they also find that actually if they've ever seen some sort of uh, layer-based editing system before, that they can actually quite quickly pick up Kairos and uh, get going straight away. Yeah, I got to be the feeling that having this new kind of tool may open the door to, new, to newcomers in terms of operation. Do you, do you agree? Absolutely. I think another one of the Kairos' key selling points is how flexible it is. Uh, it's very much a case that rather than us having to adapt our workflow, our production workflow to meet the uh, capability of the switcher. Now with Kairos, the switcher will actually uh, allow us to work in the way which we want to work and uh, we can adapt the switcher to meet our needs rather than the other way around, which is brilliant um, for delivering you know, really complicated shows and just gives us tons of uh, scope to be able to do what we want to do, really. I think another, another key thing for us from an operational point of view um, 
comes down to the fact that the frame can fulfill so many roles on site. So it can be a vision switcher, it can be a screen switcher, um, you can play back from it, you can play back graphics from it. Um, and when we come to train all of those operators, instead of training them on three or four different systems, you can train them within that one Kairos ecosystem. So for us getting people up to speed with using the system, not only is it a very intuitive GUI, but actually, because we don't have to train in lots of different systems, it's, it's quicker to get operators on board. Sid, so after all that was said today, would you say that Kairos is able to replace a traditional switcher and maybe uh, also a presentation switcher beyond that? I, I absolutely would, yeah. And, and, and the real power of Kairos is that not only could it replace you know, one of those things, it could replace a presentation switcher, could replace um, a vision switcher, it could replace some playback devices. Um, the fact that it can do it all together yeah. um, makes it incredibly powerful. So when you're looking at putting it in the center of an IP ecosystem, as we are, we're, um, uh, we're, we're developing a lot more IP sources now, we're working with, with um, display manufacturers uh, and projector manufacturers for, for displaying IP workflows. Um, putting the Kairos at the center of that is a really important thing for us. Um, and, uh, you know, so far it's done um, the, the Tokyo Olympics and the Beijing Olympics and a number of other quite large projects. Uh, and it's absolutely done those roles, um, you know, to more, more than our uh, expectations were. And talking about features in terms of operations, um, can you name a couple of uh, iconic features or iconic function you would think about for, about for Kairos? Yeah, of course. So I think um, in the world of live events, uh, quite often we have to deal with a mixture of different signals coming in. And sometimes we'll have to deal with cameras coming in at 1080p. And sometimes we'll have to deal with other feeds coming in at 1080i and 720p. And sometimes a feed might be on NDI and sometimes it'll be on SDI and sometimes it'll be on SMPTE 2110. With the Kairos, we can take all of those feeds all in together, whether they're synchronous or not, and switch them absolutely seamlessly to screen without having to then have racks and racks of engineering equipment to make it all work together. It just makes the whole workflow much simpler, much easier, much cleaner, and uh, prevents us having to bring more and more equipment to site, which is great. Thank you. Thank you for, Thank you for your much. testimonial. Very interesting stuff. When it comes to rental business in Europe, Lang AG has been the go-to supplier for many years. We couldn't resist having its CEO, Tobias Lang, with us today. Welcome, Tobias. Can you talk to us a bit more about your company, its core business, and its solutions? Yeah, thank you for inviting. Um, the company Lang AG is a family company which was founded 1978 by my father. And we are looking after video only and B2B only, which means we supply rental companies mm -hmm. in the event vertical and system integrators in the fixed installation vertical. So being a long time Panasonic partner, you obviously have a lot of Panasonic products in your rental fleet from projectors to system cameras and PTZ and, uh, and so on. So in your experience, how does Kairos help create this kind of glass to glass solution within Lang for your customers? First of all, we always look for the best solution available in the market. Therefore, we test a lot of products of different manufacturers. Mm -hmm. Regarding Kairos, we invested in video mixers in the past and we will invest in those in the future too because they belong to the workflow of video. The concept of Kairos is quite attractive for us because it is a strategy. It is not only about having a product for the next two years, but it is an opportunity for us to build an environment, especially in the event, event vertical, for years. Mm -hmm. Some people may think that Kairos is, was designed only for fixed installation. What's your view about this? Can Kairos also be a solution for rental, for event uh, changing uh, installation? Maybe five years ago, you wouldn't um, have used um, a Kairos in the event business, but um, as times goes by, and if you look to the future, we believe the concept of Kairos 
is pretty much a fit. Um, maybe in future of events, we will have computing power for the, for the event itself, not at the venue where the event does play, take place, but somewhere else. And therefore, Kairos is a good step into this direction. And then having the scalability to say, hey, um, if I look, for example, um, at a soft edge projection, yeah. I can cascadate um, a lot of projectors to have uh, in two dimension um, today, in, in mapping I do this um, frequently, um, to have in two dimension um, a size of a picture um, in, in my free choice. But in the third dimension of having different layers and scenes, yeah. I was quite limited. And now just by adding computing power, I can change this through Kairos. So maybe uh, you could say this gives a third dimension of opportunities. Yeah, that's very interesting to, to, to have this idea of adding one dimension into your, into your possibilities in projection. A big part of your business, of course, is around projectors or rentals of projectors, big venue with projectors, of course, large events. Uh, how does Kairos fit into that picture and how can it help with this kind of big uh, events? Well, um, first of all, we need everything in the workflow video and uh, this depends on the demand. And if you look um, at um, events, um, for example, uh, mapping I just mentioned, um, you see that the number of uh, sources um, and the number of uh, playouts is increasing. And therefore, um, a platform which you can scale in your choice is exactly what's your fit. And I believe the, the construction of Kairos um, has a deep understanding uh, of this challenge. What do you see as the next step for, for, for your business? And uh, in terms of technology, in terms of the business itself, where, where do you want to go? Where do you think it's going? Well, I believe that one day we will have a signal transport at event in 5G. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you need um, hardware like Kairos, um, which is uh, constructed uh, to cover this. Um, but then um, you have every projector with a 5G card inside, which is able uh, to get the content mm -hmm. via 5G. You, you, you're seeing a total wireless, let's say. This is our dream. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Open the truck, uh, open the cases, everything is connected because you have a local yeah. 5G server and um, every hardware is telling the server, hey, I'm there, I'm arrived at the venue, we can start, yeah? Right, great, great, great. Could be sooner than we think. Last year, Panasonic announced the Kairos Training Academy Network to train operators to get the best from its live production platform. We believe those trained in our products and solutions are more likely to use them. Tobias, could you please elaborate a bit on that? Well, training is very important in our industry. For nearly 10 years now, we run the Lang Academy in Lindler, which is about training. Because if you adapt new technology every year and you bring this to the market, you have to make sure there are people who are able to bring 100% of the power out of the hardware. And there's only one way to do this, and this is right. training. If you look at Kairos, with the flexibility of all these buttons you can use in the way you want to do. You need to understand your opportunities and therefore you need people to explain it to you. And that's the reason why we do these trainings twice a year, not only about Kairos, but about projection, LED and of so course. on, but now also about Kairos with the clear target to build a community of operators within our markets to make sure all our customers can get the power out of Kairos, which is in the machine. Great. Thank you for your feedback, Tobias. Thank you for your vision as Thank well. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. So this brings us to the end of the main part of our event. As we heard today from our guests, Kairos offers unlimited capabilities and unlocks lots of potential for different kinds of video production. And with Kairos being software-based, we are frequently releasing new functionalities. For example, there are even more powerful features underway with the latest version 1.2. 
Exclusively for the event today, we have recorded a demo of these new features. The release version 1.2 includes many new functions and features, and I have no chance to detail all of them in just a few minutes. I would like to focus on three main topics. Agile inputs outputs, audio, snapshots. Let's start by Agile I.O. The Kairos core server does not include fixed I.O. boards. Being AT based it deals with a certain amount of bandwidth, which is distributed among the different signals getting in and out of a system. By optimizing the bandwidth, our engineer managed to double the number of 1080i inputs and outputs, and I know it was expected by many of you. For those using both 2110 IOs and DeltaCast modules, they now become independent, allowing to sum them. With the KC1000 core, the different streams also come on top of a previous count. So we now reach a very impressive number of 106 inputs, 42 outputs, in 1080i, 720p for the gold version, in just two rack units. The KC100 also benefits of Agile I.O. possibility, reaching a maximum of 56 in, 34 out. Those figures obviously change when you work with different signal formats. As there are quite a number of combinations, we prepared a table summarizing the number of inputs and outputs depending on your Kairos core model and the signal you are using. If you want to study more in depth all of those figures, you will find them in the software 1.2 release notes. So, what's new about audio in this release? Inputs and outputs first. With a 1.2 software, the Kairos now accepts audio, not only from 2110 and SDI sources, but also from NDI, SRT, RTMP, and RTP streams. In terms of audio outputs, a very awaited function was to embed audio directly on SDI. Kairos now supports 16 embedded channels on the two first SDI outputs of each DeltaCast Flex module. Another very demanded function was to play audio-only clips. No problem, Kairos now offers four channels of audio players, allowing to play files without the need of attaching them to a video. The audio mixer also receives some enhancement. A PFL, pre further listening, is now available on each mixer channel to monitor the audio and each of them also offers a delay of 2000 milliseconds. Last but not least, scenes are now equipped with a very powerful snapshot tool. Snapshots are like different versions of one scene. The scene structure with its layer and effects remain identical, but their parameters are stored in the snapshots. For instance, transparency, color, XY, position, size, etc. So instead of storing multiple scenes with small changes, you can store as many snapshots as you want in each scene. This is a very similar way of organizing your work, as you may know with your classic switcher using keyframe into mix effect. Let me show you some use examples. A very typical example is the different boxes organization, such as 50-50, 70-30, 30-70 of your double box scene. You may also store multiple adjustment sets of the chroma key, or different backgrounds and color in a picture-in-picture -picture effect. An additional and super useful possibility is the dissolve option. When selected in a snapshot, the Kairos system interpolates all the parameters instead of recalling them cut. As a result, layers are mixed on and off, colors evolve smoothly, DV boxes zoom and move. In many cases, a macro recalling different snapshot with dissolve can replace simple timelines. There are many more smaller functionality that you will discover in the release notes or playing with the Kairos. And don't forget one of the most important things for this new version. It's free of charge for all existing users and it will be included for the same price for future customers. It's now time to give you a quick overview of the new digital tools that we have just made available for you to experience our products. Yes, Guillaume. Kairos being an IT IP platform, it's only natural that we offer virtual demonstrations and a remote access to our Kairos demo system. The Kairos virtual demo room is now up and running. It has been created to fulfill customer needs for demonstration completely online while guided by a specialist from our team.
to book your guided tour today. Just send us an email and we will get straight back to you. Of course, face-to-face -face and on-site demos are still available all over Europe. So please contact your local Panasonic representative or Kairos dealer. Thank you, Christophe. Speaking of virtual tools, we welcome all of you to the brand new Panasonic Broadcast and Pro AV Digital World, a digital web tool to discover the products in a 3D environment. We have developed a web space accessible from any browser and any device that will allow you to learn about the products and solutions for different market segments. Each area, whether it's corporate, high education, TV and broadcast, live events, or esports, is designed to explain the dedicated glass-to-glass -glass solution, including the camera systems, robotics, Kairos, and related software. To learn more about it, please check the link in the description of the video. To stay up to date with the latest Kairos news and updates, please subscribe to the newsletter, follow us on social media, and come meet the Panasonic team at the next event in your country. You will find all the useful links in the description below. This brings us to the end of the first Kairos Infinity event. Now, I would like to ask each of our guests to simply describe Kairos in one word. Game changer. Smart. Flexible. Scalable. Return of investment. Nice. Welcome to a new era in video production with Kairos. Thanks to all of our guests and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.